In this video, I'm going to go over the content editor. The content editor is the main way for you to interact with your actual content across your entire website. While the page builder is great to manage layouts for your pages, like your homepage, about page, and so on, the content editor is available just about anywhere on your website, in blog posts, podcasts, episode show notes, and transcriptions, participant and guest bios, basically anywhere you have content on your site. So I'm going to walk you through a few places on your website where you can leverage the content editor to create your site. First, I'm going to go to podcasts in the left hand side of my menu. And then on my podcast, I'm going to click on the edit podcast button. From here, I'll be able to scroll down to the description. And in this section here, I can easily come in and edit the content. I could use the forward slash, which we'll use more in a moment to add in new content sections, basically anything. As you can see here, you have a full suite of editing tools. So you could adjust the content, the look and feel, if you want to make something bold, italics, change the color, the font size, any of that, you have full control here. And if you need help with AI, you can click here and put in a prompt so that you can generate content for your podcast description. Next, I'm going to take a look at the episodes, and from here, I'm going to go in and edit one of the episodes. Similarly, you can make any adjustments to this section with the same tools and resources that we just looked at in the last one. Next, let's take a look at the blog. So I will go into the editor on a specific post, and here you have the full screen experience of making edits and adjustments. And a really cool feature is the forward slash that I really love using while I'm building out any content. So you just type in what you like. In this case, I'd like to add a button so I can do that. So I could click in here to the button, click on this and type in a website address. So I'll type that in. I could have it open in a new tab, adjust the formatting. Here, I'll adjust the button so it says learn more and we are good to go. What's really cool about this editor is it operates with the principle of WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And this is pulling the styles from your website so you get a sense of what the button, the font size, the color, and everything is gonna look like on your site. Now, let me add in a few content sections. The first thing I'll do is I'll hit forward slash and I'll add in the paragraph, which is the first selection there. And then I'll paste in some lorem ipsum. From here, I'll highlight this text, make the font size just a little bit bigger, uh, and we'll start with that. From here, I'll add in another block where I'll add in an image, and I will add an image from my library here. So I'll click on that, and now we have this image here. I could adjust different elements of this content, so max width is 100%. In this case, I'm gonna go 50%, and I'm gonna do alignment center which is great. And what's really cool is it's really easy to click and drag and move content around accordingly. So I'll drag this up here. Then from here, I am going to move this button down here and drop that there. And then below the button here, I am going to add in another section. In this case, I will do a block quote. And so I'll type that in, click on it there. Let me add a little bit of space for us to see what we're working on here. So here I can drop in a quote for us, and we have that there. From here, I will add in a bit more content, but this time I want to write with AI. So I'm going to say, all right, so I'm going to add that in, click generate text. So just like that, it gave me a ton of content to work with. I will go in and make adjustments and edit, but in this case, I will just trim this down to this section here uh, and keep this, which is great. Below this, I'm gonna add in columns, and so I'll do this. So you can easily click in here and add in a third column and have content organized. All right, perfect. Now you have those three columns set up. And again, it makes it really easy for you to click and drag and move content around. So if I wanted to move this section down, I could easily do that. And then from there, reorganize the content to my liking. Now, let's add a few more blocks to the page. First thing I'll do is click the forward slash. And as you can see here, there's a lot of relevant elements to your content. 
So here we have episodes, podcasts, blog posts, other elements here. I'm going to click on episodes and then have this populate. I'll click into this, click the, the settings here, and then I'll change this to one and call them count one. That's great. All looks good. Good to go here. So I really, really like this. And finally, I will, in this case, remove the load more button. So I'll get rid of that there. And now that is complete. Here, I will add in another content type, which will be the share links. So what's cool about this is now you have added this feature to your blog post. So it shows all the share links. And if someone clicks on it, it will give them the link to share this specific post on their social platforms. So you can come in here and customize it. It's currently set to full width. I'm gonna set it to center. And then from there, I am gonna remove one or two. I'll just remove these two here. And then I'll hit update. And then I'll go to my page, refresh it. And you can see the social sharing links here where someone can easily click and it will share a link to this specific post. A few other helpful resources on this page for you. Up here, if you click the three dots, it'll give you all the controls for your content. So as you're moving through your content, if you need to make any changes or adjustments, you know exactly where all those settings are. Next, if you click here on the eye, you'll be able to view the post. And then finally here, if you want to see the menu uh, of the settings for this specific blog post, featured image, the title, the URL, all of that will be listed here that you could easily toggle on or off as you are making edits. Once you're done, you can hit update. And then when you go to your posts, you'll be able to see all your changes live and it'll look identical to what you have set up uh, on the back end.